Hi, this is a quick first impressions video of my new Yule Phone Armour 5 and comparing it to my CAT S60. Now, first things first, the CAT S60 has an infrared camera on it. Uh, it's at the back there, it's what gives it the bump at the top and it's out of the two, it's a top camera. Now, it's a bit of fun, but that's as far as it goes. Um, I use it to take pictures of friends and show them what they look like in the dark. I've taken a picture of my dog in the back garden, pitch black, and you can see the dog for a few feet away. Um, I've tried finding things like uh, hidden radiator pipes in walls, but that's it. It was a toy. It's nothing more than a toy. Maybe if you're a builder and you need to work on a building site and see where there's heat loss from a house or something, maybe it's some use to you. But for me, it was a toy. Um, however, the rest of the phone seriously lets it down. It is rugged, I have dropped it a number of times and it has survived, but it's only really waterproof if the USB slot is closed. If you fail to close the USB slot, it, it loses its waterproofness. That is also a weak part, it snaps off a lot of phones, although mine's okay so far. Uh, headphone slot is the same, another weak point of the phone. Uh, and it's not wireless charging, so you have to open the USB slot there and plug your charger in every time you want to charge the phone. If they'd made it wireless charging, you could have largely left that closed unless you wanted to transfer files to your computer and just put it on a plate to wireless charge it. So that's a, a couple of design issues. It's quite a sluggish phone, it's 3 gig of RAM, uh, I think it's 32 uh, gig of storage, but it's 3 gig of RAM and it's a quad core 1.2 processor for memory. But its big downfall is it still runs Android 6. Uh, bullets who make them have told me that there are absolutely no plans to upgrade it to a later version of uh, Android OS, so it's staying on 6. Now, bearing in mind this is a £600 phone, it's not that old, it's 12 months, 18 months old, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, but it's not that old. They have just brought out a new version, and that might be why they're not upgrading it. But I still think that since you can buy this phone new still, that it's quite disgusting that it's still stuck on Android 6 and they won't upgrade it. Anyway, the reason I've not replaced it so far is I use NFC for Android Pay. And whilst there are plenty of phones out there, I've been waiting for a, a phone at a, a cheaper price point that's rugged, waterproof, and supports NFC. So, the Yule Phone Armour um, 5 fitted that bill. I already have a Yule Phone. I have the S9 Pro, or I had the S9 Pro. I actually gave it to my son when he broke his uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, so I now no longer have it. But it was a, it was a nice phone. Uh, it was a good price point and it was nicely made. So I waited uh, for the Yule Phone five, Armour um, 5 to be available on Amazon. And as soon as it was, I bought it. It's now my main phone. So, a quick look at this phone shows a couple of similar features to the CAT in that it has a removable port for USB C charging or data transfers. It has a removable port there for SIM cards, dual SIMs, or a SIM card and a micro SD port. But where it differs from a functionality or design point of view is it actually supports wireless charging. So unless I wanted to plug into my computer to transfer files, I never need to open that. I can just simply put it on a charging plate and it will charge up. And that means that that port will not get worn, it won't get uh, sand or dust in it, which might ruin the waterproofness. So the phone should remain waterproof. Likewise, once you put your SIM card in or your micro SD card in, you're never likely to open that very often at all, so again it maintains its waterproofness. Now it is a, a notch screen. Now for those that uh, don't know what a notch screen is, a normal phone, normally the vertical ones, has a speaker grill and a camera at the top. Now to hide those quite often, they're, they're behind a, 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 in the top bezel like that, turn the screen back on, in the top bezel like that, so the screen is, where's this, oh, wrong button. The screen only extends in a flat line across the top, and all the top of that is wasted real estate. In a notch phone, you've still got the speaker and the camera, but the screen extends 
further up on either side of the notch giving you, in this case, battery status and mobile phone signal strength status. So you actually get a little bit more screen. Now, if you compare, I'll have to unlock them both. I should have disabled the screen unlock first. All right. If you compare them both, you can see that when I line up the screen at the bottom, that there's much more screen real estate on the Arma 5 than there is on the Cat. But yet, if I line up the base of the phones, there's actually not that much difference in physical size of the phone. That's primarily because of the notch of the infrared camera at the top of that phone, but you'll see. Thickness wise as well, the Yule phone is quite a little bit slimmer and it's also lighter. I haven't actually weighed it yet. Specs wise, the Yule phone is 4 gig of RAM compared to the 3 gig of RAM of the CAT. It's 64 gig of storage compared to the 32 gig of the CAT. And it's also a OxaCore, so that's 8-core, 2-gig processor. That's from memory. I know it's definitely an 8-core eight, eight processor, whereas that is a 4-core processor. So the phone is a lot more responsive. I can feel that when I'm swiping between screens. It's a lot faster phone uh, than this one is. Also, it helps that this is running Android 8.1, whereas this is running Android 6. Android 6 is an old OS now. Some of the newest apps might not be supported on this one, but it also from Android 7 onwards, uh, Google made massive attempts in performance, uh, massive increases in performance anyway. So even a phone with the same specs could be expected to run better on Android 7 or Android 8, uh, and this is Android 8. So it's wireless charging, it's NFC. I have watched plenty of YouTube videos before I bought it of people deliberately dropping it from heights and deliberately throwing it in swimming pools. Uh, so I believe and trust that it is a nice rugged phone. I don't intend on deliberately dropping it as it's my everyday phone um, and I, I don't want to damage it but I do believe it's rugged enough to survive everything that I will throw at it. Uh, I, I'm into my water sports, paddleboard and so on so I need a waterproof phone and this fits the bill perfectly. So if you're looking for a phone that's rugged, waterproof, has wireless charging and supports NFC for Android Pay. Look no further than the Yule Phone Armor 5. I hope that helps.